Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus through Signs series. This is for Venus and Gemini. So if in your birth chart Venus is sitting in the sign of Gemini, this is for you. I did a PSA earlier, but I will also uh, repeat. If you don't know where your Venus is sitting, uh, I urge you to just pause the video, go to any free astrology website uh, such as astro.com, enter in your birth uh, day, time, location and it's going to generate a free birth chart for you. You don't have to know your exact birth time to know where Venus is sitting. Uh, you could put 12 p.m. and that's fine. Uh, if your Venus is sitting in Gemini, this is for you. Also, yes, both your Venus and Sun can be sitting in the same sign. Um, so happy early Valentine's to you guys as well. Um, all right, so let's see what is going on, you guys. And remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do. Okay, so Venus in Gemini. Part of the situation, Queen of Cups. Two of Cups. Ace of Cups. All the love in the air. Uh, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Five of Pentacles, Lovers, and the Moon. Okay, so I'm getting uh, a couple of different stories here. Um, okay, so central issue or the uh, heart of the matter could be revolving around yourself. You could be the Cancer here, um, or you could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, also could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, but I am seeing like this unconditional love and being connected with someone um, who you feel very connected to. This is, um, I feel like you guys are soulmates. I have the lovers here and the two of cups. Um, so there is a very strong connection with someone who is bringing out extremely deep emotions out of you. Maybe you didn't recognize you even had these feelings, but um, if you're single, uh, you've got to be making some sort of love connection um, this month. Uh, something something's going to at least lead you to make a connection. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be a, a relationship whenever I see a love connection, but just know that that person who you run into or uh, that you're talking to that you think I know you think you think you know who I'm talking about <laughs> that's them that's a love connection now it could also be someone new uh, but I'm just saying overall those of you that are single uh, I feel like you're you're going to be feeling good about yourself and somebody's going to be attracted to uh, your personality, your inner beauty, you're going to be uh, radiating and someone is going to approach you. Um, this is some sort of love connection. So I'm seeing, um, I am seeing all this abundance in love um, for singles and those coupled. Uh, now I do see uh, some form of rejection though. Um, I'm not sure where this is coming from. This might be coming from yourself. Um, or maybe someone is not responding the way you wanted them to or the way you thought they would because I'm feeling it's like it's it's a mixed message here it's like one minute forgot to start my timer one minute you guys are optimistic and feeling good and confident and positive and then the next minute there is this sadness or rejection like excuse me feeling like your needs aren't being met or this is like that suffering in silence where there's something wrong but you don't want to say it because your pride is in the way so either you are being too prideful about some feelings maybe you're faking being happy I don't know um, or there's a possibility that 
the person that you're connected to is attached to someone else and that that's something that you're upset about but either way there's something going on with this five of pentacles here it's a mixed message because i have so much love and then it's like bump like rejection but then it's connection and then we have here the moon so there is a little bit of paranoia or illusion going on with the moon here um on a spiritual note or on a metaphysical note for those of you that do believe in twin flames or that you have uh encountered your twin flame um this person has come into your life and they've triggered some sort of deep fear or insecurities that you have this person is here as a mirror and you might also be projecting your fears onto them so make sure you're not doing that because because you, you've been hurt in the past you might be having some sort of insecurities or doubts or creating a situation that doesn't exist onto this person uh like maybe saying Oh, this person thinks I'm ugly or they don't really want me how could this person really be attracted to me and it's like no who said that like nobody said that then why are you thinking that so this is some sort of fake uh, scenario that you're creating for yourself it's not real um, and I don't know for whatever reason maybe this person just triggers that out of you um, for others of you, this is still like that reflection. Like this person has come into your life. It's, it's more than just a physical attraction. It's, it's probably something very spiritual for your spiritual development. Why this person has come into your life. And they're there or they're in your life to show you uh, the subconscious fears or insecurities that you maybe suffering from or that you carried over from a past life they're here to show you your your shadow side uh this is also two opposites coming together as well and you're wondering how can we connect when we're so opposite yet so much alike um i'm feeling like somebody comes from a completely different side of the tracks there could be a completely different, uh, there could be an age difference, a difference in religion, a difference in nationality or race, but there is, it's like opposites being attracted to one another. And two, if someone becomes withdrawn after this connection or after a conversation or something, it's because someone is feeling something extremely deeply and they don't understand it. You're like, whoa like I don't understand where this is coming from I never felt these feelings before um this is scaring me this connection is so strong it is scaring me I need I need you to go away so that might also be what this five of pentacles is that rejection it's rejection because you guys are so closely connected and it's the bond is unexplainable it's like you know what is this and you know that's scary I, I recently experienced something like that you know with my twin flame I don't know if you guys keep up with me on Instagram or whatever but you know my twin flame came back into my life that it scared me something he didn't do nothing I all of a sudden I was like I don't want to see you no more because I you know because of these fears the fear of being vulnerable and opening up again you know I just I pushed him away I couldn't deal with it because our connection is just like way too strong now going into the next week here um we have the sun i feel like again this is the truth coming out this is good news this is you connecting again with someone so close you guys are very passionate about each other and you guys can't stay away from one another so if your pride or your ego makes you guys turn away you guys are coming right back together you can't deny one another you can't deny the physical attraction and the chemistry that you have with this person um so this goes for both couples and you know those in relationships the person you're coupled with is a deep soulmate this is someone that you are strongly connected to um if you're just meeting someone same thing if you haven't met someone you're going to that this someone is in your someone is vibrating on your same frequency level so you're going to get into situations where you're meeting people who are vibing with you and you're going to make a connection with someone um 
Now, also the son too, the, I don't know if you've known this person since childhood, that is a possibility as well. Um, but this is youthful energy. You guys feel so like children and playful around one another. You can trust each other. There's this enormous amount of trust and you feel this person gives you the the attention that you're looking for um you know they say all the right things they put you in a spotlight they put you on a pedestal you're the best thing since sliced bread you know whatever but you know there is a strong connection with this person um there's a earth energy coming out again uh so it could be dealing with that earth sign uh, there's going to be a major change or shift. If there was a breakup, there's going to be a reconciliation. Um, for some of you, it could be dealing with someone from your past because we have the judgment. So there is something resurfacing, an issue that is resurrecting, something that was long gone or seemed like it was dead or uh, no hope to it. Um, it comes back to the surface and I feel like I feel like this person is here to help you understand your calling or your purpose I feel like you many of you are going to have a wake-up call you're going to also for some of you you're realizing that you have a gift or maybe together you have a gift um, like you guys are I don't know maybe you've never thought of yourself of being psychic or intuitive but when this person is around, like all of all of a sudden, you're psychic, you're intuitive, both of you, and it might be some sort of ener energies that you guys are exchanging that you awaken each other's gifts. Um, so I am seeing that as a possibility as well, and also that I'm dealing with someone who is also very uh, sensitive. Um, so yes, somebody is an empath, either you or the person you're dealing with. And sometimes the moon is an illusion because you don't know if these are your own feelings or someone else's that's happening to you. Like you're having mood swings. One minute you're crying, the next minute you're happy. And you're like, what is wrong with me? What's wrong with you is that you're tapping into other people's feelings and emotions. You might be in denial about a gift that you have. Uh, but someone is here, um, if, the, if those of you that feel that you've met a twin flame especially um this person is here for part of your spiritual path this is part of your destiny we have the will of fortune here um so it is divinely guided that you meet this person or have met this person if you were someone with whom maybe you thought was your twin flame it could be that it actually propelled you to to meet the person you're actually supposed to be with. So there's something going on. I'm just overall just seeing like a lot of true love coming out. Uh, so it's going to be an intense week uh, of emotions starting out, uh, but not negative emotions, more so just, you know, being in love and being passionate. Uh, I do see that at some point you're going to try to uh, withhold your feelings or the person you're dealing with is like slowly opening up. Like I feel like you guys keep being so real with one another and then you withdraw and pull back um, and go into a shell again. Uh, you know, and I feel like it stems from that fear of being vulnerable and not wanting to get hurt. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you're um, that you're getting offers from someone else, but that's not that's not who you want it from. You want you want that attention from someone else, so you're not really paying attention to what they have to offer. Listen to your intuition. I feel again, this is reiterating that you're on a spiritual journey. Um, so you're going to have to trust your intuition on this path that you're on. Um, for those of you, if the, if the relationship starts off as a third party situation, I feel that it's not going to end that way. I feel like it's going to end with just two people. For some of you, you may even be going on some sort of trip. I'm seeing someone, there's someone watching that actually takes a ferry to work. 
like you actually have to take a uh, go across or you have to go across a bridge of water to get to your job and you're you're isolating yourself you might be into your phone and not really paying attention and someone is watching you someone wants to um, you're not recognizing that there's someone that is really into you you're so caught up into your own feelings or something personal that you're going through and you know you don't even recognize that this person has been watching you every day like when you got guys go to work you might ride the same bus or you the same ferry or whatever the case um, or you might the person that you're getting ready to go on a business trip with this person is really into you and I feel like that resonates with only someone specific or those of you that know what I'm talking about there's someone that you see on a daily basis they're really into you now also it could be the other way, way around you're really into them but they're not really paying attention uh, but you feel like destined to be with that person I do feel like this person of interest is someone that you're destined to have some sort of interact interaction with it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship but it's leading you to somewhere where you need to be um, for some of you I feel like you've been uh, journaling these feelings are really focused on um, this person and you're writing some things down in your journal uh, or you're thinking about them while you're at work you're supposed to be focused at work but in the back of your mind you're thinking about that person or if you had some sort of rendezvous with someone you're thinking about that trip you're like man I keep thinking about the fun we had when we went on that trip together or this upcoming trip we're going to get to be together like there's something that's on your mind concerning this person and a trip for some of you, you're, you're unaware that you have a visitor on the way. Um, there is going to be a difficult decision that you're going to have to make in regards to love because I'm still getting that. Like, although I feel like you become clear on who it is that you need to be with, there is still this indecisiveness going back and forth. Um, struggling with your past and your future or getting caught up in the thought of it um, worried that you're going to make the same mistake or something you might try to juggle both people before going off into isolation and and having to having to meditate having to have a different perspective on a situation yeah I feel like right before you make a decision you're going to still be going back and forth and eventually you might put someone on hold or if someone is having a difficult time making up their mind about you they're going to put you on hold but there's this somebody feeling like they're stuck in limbo and you know it's because you need to see something from a different perspective you need to understand why this keeps happening this is this past situation that keeps resurfacing you're gonna have to figure out why that keeps happening you're going to be pushed outside of your comfort zone you're going to have to face some things that you didn't want to deal with there's going to be some sort of conflict it could be with an air sign or with yourself um, there is some sort of confrontation that takes place about deception someone you might be confronting someone about the possibility of uh, cheating or lying about something it doesn't always have to be cheating but it is about withholding some sort of information or someone is getting ready to confront you because someone has been studying or somebody has been watching so make sure that you're open and honest because I almost feel like you could get caught in a line it's like see I gave you the opportunity to tell the truth but here's the proof right here so someone is um, you know is is lying about something or they're not being 100% honest or truthful about something and also for some of you you're being watched from a distance somebody um, is quietly observing you from you know watching your internet and your daily activities they're they're trying to get a sense of who you are um, 
those of you that experience some sort of deception or lies in your relationship I feel like it is to help you on your path like you're going to be enlightened I'm, I'm definitely seeing enlightenment for you guys I'm feeling like you guys are researching things about yourselves you might also be researching about spirituality something might get you started on a spiritual path or at least make you try to understand why things are the way they are in your life you might start believing in past lives if you if that's not something that you believed in previously this now it's like you're discovering that you know there is something else. maybe you're discovering that you're a star seed or an indigo or something of that sort but you're having some sort of enlightening moment um, and this person is in your life to help you get to that point Anybody that comes into your life that takes you on a spiritual path is, is to help you evolve spiritually. All right, so let's pull some cards from the Romance Angels deck. What messages are there for both singles and couples for the month of February? Those born with Venus and Gemini. Both Venus and Gemini couples and singles. So pay attention to red flags. We had that seven of swords show up. So make sure that you are listening to your intuition, but continue to, to go with the, to trust the journey and just go with it because you're on this path for a reason or this person came into your life for a reason. It doesn't mean that you're supposed to allow them to get away with something. Um, but yeah, trust those red flags that, uh, that you see. Um, those of you that are, um, Coming into new love, I feel like you're going to be getting to know one another. Um, if you're the one spying on someone, I feel like uh, you're trying to observe them. Um, and you might see some red flags through social media, but don't assume. Um, you know, take note of what you're seeing, but also take the time out to get to know the person before you judge them. There is going to be flirtation going on. Um, and for some of you, there is this third party energy, um, you know, and that's what that lover's card is. It means sometimes when you're involved with someone and that card shows up, it means that you met somebody who you're connecting with. And for some of you, there could be uh, a separation. So what I, and then I even already said that if there is a, a third party situation, I feel like it's going to become a two party situation. So that it's going to be an end of a third party situation for some of you, if you're, you've been waiting or if you've been involved with some, excuse me, someone who you knew it was an open relationship or a third party situation, you've been waiting for it to end. I, I do feel like that separation is coming at least for the month of February because there's still like that on off again energy going on all right so you guys remember these have been general readings but I hope it did resonate uh, please remember to leave your comments uh, like share and subscribe if you haven't already done so if you want a private re reading email me to matt76 at gmail.com that information is in the description box below uh, also I've reopened up my Facebook I haven't been really active on there just yet, but, you know, if you want to add me, can. But again, happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Many blessings to you.